Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's review, we are going to take a look at another gaming adaptive controller. This is called the Titan One. Now, if you guys remember about two or three years ago, I did a review and gave you guys my thoughts on the Titan Two, a gaming adapter. Uh, this is from the same family. And the Titan One is very similar to the Kronos Max, if you guys have also followed my channel in that regard. But just a quick review for those of you new to the channel and who haven't heard of this device. The Titan One adapter is a gaming adapter that fully unlocks the capabilities of your controller. There are a certain limited number of things that you can't do with your controller, but uh, the gaming adapter fully unlocks the ability for you to crossplay uh, as far as using, let's say, a PlayStation controller with your Xbox, or using Xbox controller with your Nintendo system. So it fully unlocks the capabilities of being able to memorize uh, different functions, combos, uh, record different macros, and also expands upon your ability to game. Now, I will say that a lot of people primarily use devices like this for aim assist, uh, aim bot, so that way they can get easy headshots and things like that for playing games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, but primarily I use this for arcade modding. I have a lot of controllers, we have a lot of different joysticks, and it gives me a really ease and sensibility to hook this device up and expound it upon a number of different devices with my consoles. Um, if you guys have followed my channel, uh, I had an easier time uh, hooking up my arcade units, my arcade went up, my Atari cabinet, and several others using a Nintendo Switch, my Xbox 360, my PS3. Uh, There's limit, unlimited potential as far as what you can do, but unfortunately within the community, most people use these kind of devices just for uh, shooting games. Uh, you can record your gameplay, you can do easy fatalities. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this review. Alright, so what I want to do for you guys today is I want to give you guys my thoughts on the Titan 1. And in addition to that, I also want to give you guys a comparison between uh, the softwares of the Kronos Pro, which is the compatible software with the Kronos Max Plus, and then also give you guys a comparison difference between the software, uh, the Gamer Pro, which is the software uh, where you load your macros and everything for the Titan uh, one device. Now I picked this up online. You can easily find one of these right now for about 50 bucks, but you better hurry because the uh, console tuner website they don't really have a lot of these or have any of these in stock. In fact, I was really wondering if they are still in business or operating. However, you do have a community that is still typing up scripts for you and uh, adding things on there for your gameplay uh, so you guys can freely enjoy. But it's really hard to come by one of these devices right now if you are looking for one. So uh, the chances of you finding one on Amazon or eBay every day are growing very slim. But uh, these are cool devices to have. Now, the one benefit between the Kronos Max and also the Titan One, certain devices are loaded with either Kronos Max, let's say Kronos Zen, and also the Titan One. Uh, based upon my testing and experience, not all the controller UIDs or USB type devices are loaded in for one company. And so what happens is, let's say if you have a fight stick or something else that you want to use, it may work on one gaming adapter, but it may not work on another. Uh, that doesn't really make one device superior over the other. I mean, in a personal case, maybe. But what happens is, you know, there's so many different uh, authorized and unauthorized or non-official controllers out there. There's just so many ID, uh, IDs to keep up. So um, I have used the Kronos series. I'm sorry, not the Kronos, but the Titan 1 series and the Titan 2 to hook up my Atari Microsoft. I'm sorry, my Atari uh, fight stick controllers. You guys have seen my Atari fight sticks that I've gotten from Micro Center. Uh, I've had those work uh, uh, easier or just really out of the box, more or less, with those uh, fight sticks. Um, I haven't found the Kronos to really work in that regard simply because it's a different type of uh, UID and they use a specific uh, coder. Uh, but one of the things I definitely like about uh, this thing, but and I have some really uh, some additional thoughts about the Titan One, is it gives you some additional software and things that you can use with this program. Now, taking this out of the box, it did come with a USB cable, but it didn't come with a Bluetooth adapter. Uh, that is something the Kronos devices typically come with, but unfortunately, this did not come with the Bluetooth adapter, which you need to hook up 
uh, for your Nintendo based systems or even your PS3 or even your PS4. Uh, another thing that I noticed without, without the software was that if you're uh, doing a comparison, because I obviously I'm familiar with the Chronos Max, uh, the software didn't have all the plugins uh, loaded. I had to download those separately in addition to the software. So uh, let's go ahead. Let me give you guys a quick screenshot. I want you guys to take a look at the software. So you have your basic uh, menus here at the top. You have file, edit, view. Uh, view, you have your uh, view of programmer, GPC, compiler, visual scripting, compiler, tools. You have your device monitor. Uh, we're going to take a look at this here in just a few moments and then also compare this uh, to the Kronos Max Plus software, uh, your plugins, and then of course you have your help. Uh, in tools, this is where you would go to download your firmware update and also your GTuner uh, software. Uh, my firmware is up to date. I am using the latest version. And then within options, you have an editor, file association, your device, uh, and Titan One. Uh, your device uh, for your device, you typically have to. Uh, you want to select this. You can leave it on automatic if you want to, which is typically preferred. However, uh, you can change this manually uh, depending upon which type of system you want to use or which console uh, that you want to use as well. Now, the only time I've actually had to do this is when I'm using a, a PlayStation uh, 3, Xbox 360, sometimes uh, some of the newer consoles too, if it's not recognizing. Um, I use a lot of different arcade encoders and sometimes you do have to play around with this, but for the most part, you can definitely uh, uh, keep it where it needs to be. All right, now here at the bottom, we have the online library. We have our visual scripting, and we also have GP compiler and your programmer. Uh, when you go to programmer, these are some of the additional scripts that are available, and you can just click, uh, quickly just move them over and drop them uh, into their perspective slots. And then once you do that, you definitely get a readout menu to set up your configuration and let you look, know a little bit more about how the script works. Uh, you can turn the mod on or off, you have your rapid fire. Uh, you can adjust the uh, release time in milliseconds. Uh, th then, of course, you also have additional buttons here like easy sprint and whatnot, just depending upon what type of script uh, that you definitely want to use. Now, I mentioned earlier that uh, this is the, uh, the plugin section, and you had to download these. And I don't understand why they had you download these. In fact, let's go ahead and look at plugin manager. And so as you can see, I have all the plugins downloaded and installed uh, for the Titan one. But if I select this one, the max aim, it'll actually freeze up and lock up my computer or lock up the program. Now I don't understand why I need to do this. Um, I'm not sure if the max aim VI is the replacement for that. However, if it is, then they should definitely remove this because this freezes up uh, the program. So uh, hopefully you don't have to use it anymore. But um, again, that's one of the things or inconveniences I definitely didn't like about the program or actually about uh, the Titan one. Now, the adapter, it also doesn't come with the Bluetooth adapter, which I honestly can't understand why. I mean, when you get the Kronos Max, it comes with all the programs. It comes with, uh, I'm sorry, not the programs. It comes with your cable. It comes with the Bluetooth adapter. Pretty much comes with everything. And so, um, again, these are definitely hard to come by, and I got this for 50 bucks. Uh, you would think that it would at least kind of come with everything uh, that you really need to get up and, you know, start it, especially if you're looking for a comparison. But, it's, you know, as again, as I said, uh, it's very difficult to find one of these now. But um, just to let you guys know, obviously, I had made a video a few weeks ago wondering if they were even still in business. But as you can see, there are scripts being made by the community. Uh, the last one that was updated or updated here was as, as of August 13th, uh, 2022. Now, I don't spend too much time with this particular team, but I do know that they are very helpful on the web page. I remember a few uh, few years ago, I reached out to them. Uh, they did help me out with the script uh, as far as uh, some of the coding mechanisms and adjustments that I needed uh, for myself. But as far as getting the hardware, uh, you know, I understand that it is difficult, but you can get a lot of these scripts. And from my understanding, some of these scripts from the uh, Titan 1 may be compatible with the Kronos Max. Uh, I would definitely check that maybe with some other sources, but uh, some individuals I have known have converted a lot of these scripts over uh, for other things. And so, uh, you know, it, it's, it's pretty cool. As you guys can see here, X-Men uh, AIM. Oh, it does say Chronos and Chronos Max, Titan 1 and Titan 2. So a lot of them are 
cross compatible depending upon what type of uh, hardware or uh, script that you're using. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick comparison. Uh, this is the Chronos Max Plus. As you guys can see, they both look very familiar. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. All right, so side by side, we have the G Tuner software and we also have the Chronos Max Plus there on the bottom right. You guys can ignore the other two screens. Those are just my uh, desktop software and def uh, desktop uh, backgrounds because I got a bunch of monitors hooked up. All right, so as you can see, both of the menus kind of look very the same as far as the online library is concerned. Uh, you have your personal scripts, uh, G uh, GTA 5 online story. So you can see your categories are here uh, within the same place on both sides. In fact, let me go ahead and I'll just go ahead and remove these so you guys don't have to pay attention to those. Let's see here. All right, so we're looking at both of these side by side. Go ahead and move it up a little bit. All right, so we have visual scripting for each one. Both of them look pretty much the same. And then, of course, you have the GPC compiler. This is where you would go to type in a lot of your scripts and also have it output directly to the device. And then, of course, you have your programmer here, which we kind of uh, looked at uh, a little earlier. Now, keep in mind, the Chronos Max Plus is discontinued by the Chronos Zen team. Uh, that is now their flagship device. Um, I'm not sure if the Titan 1 is still being manufactured, even though I know that uh, the, the Titan 2 is out, but I'm not sure if they fully discontinued the Titan 1. Um, I do believe that it is obviously, obviously, but uh, you guys will have to do your research on that to see if it's discontinued. But uh, as of right now, I know the Chrono Zen team, they're only working with the Chrono Zen. Uh, they discontinued uh, making the Chronos Max Plus. In fact, that was done uh, back in 2020 when I first started using that. And then the other cool thing is you do have latest news here on the Chronos Max Plus. So uh, you do have this, but you, however, you don't have that uh, with the G-Tuner software, uh, the G-Tuner Pro software for the Titan 1. So other than that, both programs uh, both have pretty much look the same. Um, again, over here, you have the Chronos Max Plus. You have your Max Combo, Max Mapper, Max Record, and X Aim. And then over here on the left, uh, for your plugins, you have Combo Magic, Game Recorder. So um, Game Recorder function allows you uh, to record your gameplay and then play it back. Um, if you guys have seen some of my videos, I've actually used this feature, uh, not with the Titan device, but I have used it with the Chronos Max uh, and also the Chronos N. I played Ninja Turtles and then uh, loaded up a second controller and I was playing alongside myself uh, with the recorded gameplay. So that's pretty cool and that's some cool things you can also do as well. And then of course you have the Max Mapper program. So both of those are pretty much the same in regards to what they offer there. Let's go ahead and look at tools and let's pull up our device monitor. Now here on our device monitor, let me go ahead and plug in my controller. I want you guys to see what you could do with this. So I got my joystick plugged in right now. And so, uh, again, this just gives you a visual perception of uh, what your controller is being inputted out as. So right now, I do have an Xbox 360 plugged in. The output right now uh, says none. I don't have this plugged into any consoles, but it is set to PlayStation 5. Now, if you guys are familiar with this, please understand that I think with a lot of adapters, sometimes they may disconnect or there's some issues with pl uh, PlayStation 5. Uh, right now, I do know that it was the hardest console pretty much to crack. Uh, Xbox Series X kind of worked pretty much out of the box because it was still Microsoft compatible. They used a lot of the same drivers and uh, scripting codes from the regular Xbox One and also Xbox 360. So you won't have a problem there. Uh, PS4 works, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PS3, and Xbox 360. So uh, right now, I have this defaulted at PS5, and of course, I can automatically change that. And then, of course, you'll see all of your buttons and whatever is being uh, mapped out uh, for this unit. You'll see a display there on the screen. And let me go ahead and put, just press a few buttons for you. So you can see the buttons on the left are corresponding with what's going on on the right. So you have a better readout 
Uh, let's go ahead and select Nintendo Switch. Then, of course, we got the start and select buttons right there. You got your plus and minus. So all the buttons, these are all the buttons you would typically use for your uh, controller are pretty much mapped out. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four. Then we got another four buttons here. All right, so uh, that's just a quick readout of the uh, Titan One's um, device mapper or device uh, monitor. And then of course we also have DS3 uh, pairing, which you do have something available, uh, something that's like that over here for the Kronos Max. Now, uh, I'm sorry, but for whatever reason, I cannot have the Kronos Max plugged in at the same time as the Titan One. In fact, it kept disconnecting my keyboard. I believe it was a USB issue because it was uh, requiring too much power uh, from the same uh, driver output. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and con uh, disconnect this because we don't need it. You have device cleanup. And then of course we have our options and whatnot. And so uh, primarily, again, this is another adaptive controller you guys could use for gaming. You can use this uh, to set up for your arcade unit. Um, if you have different controllers out there that you want to use across for RetroPyre or whatnot. Um, but again, you know, this is another cool device. Just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of what it looks like, uh, the things that you can actually uh, do with this. And uh, just a comparison, um, you know, I know that uh, with this uh, unit uh, and them really being out of stock right now, um, there really isn't a lot of options, you know, in order to get something like this. But again, you can shop on eBay or Amazon uh, to get a, a Titan one. You can't even get a Titan two right now. But um, again, just a comparison, both of these devices look pretty cool. Um, my take on it is uh, there seems to be more action going on with the Chrono Zen family, uh, with the Chronos Max Plus and also the Chrono Zen. That's probably why you guys see more videos on uh, the units and there's hardly not, and not a lot of videos on the uh, G-Tuner uh, Titan series um, as well. But um, all in all, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, just wanted to give you guys a brief overview uh, and give you some understanding as to how these uh, units look and how the software compares uh, to one another in relation uh, to using them. Um, again, it's 50 bucks. Get it on eBay. Get it on Amazon. A lot of these features here are all the same. But uh, there are a lot of expounded uses you can use with this. You don't have to just use scripting. I use this for all of the arcade bots and just pretty much using it across different front ends. Uh, but that being said, this is Keo Daikan. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.